I created a Reddit account to only share this story. I want to get it out there to see if there are others who have had similar experiences. Without drawing this out too long, I will begin by letting you know that sleep paralysis is not, and never has been a recurring issue for me. The two instances this phenomenon happened, once, in grade school, and recently, as an adult reaching my 30s. I can't remember my exact age, but I think it is safe to say I was between 10 to 12 years old at the time. It was the day before Valentine's Day and I was very sick with a fever, upset I would be missing out on my school's festivities and sweets the following day. I was sent to bed early, and terribly ill as I dozed off. Now, this flu could have attributed to my experience. I have thought about the possibility of it being some sort of fever-induced delirium, but some details following have made me not entirely positive this was the case. I must have awoken between 12 to 3 a.m., and I was laying on my side facing the wall my bed was pressed up against. I awoke with a pressing feeling of a presence in my room, and assumed it was my mother checking in on me, as my fever was pretty bad. I called out to her, and was met with silence. At this point I knew who or whatever in my room, was not my mother. Fear took over my rationality. It wasn't that I couldn't move, I was too scared to. I did manage to roll onto my back, and kept my eyes locked on my ceiling. I did not want to look at it. It was at this time I began to feel a sense of peace, and my dread dissipated. I began to feel comfort from the presence. As soon as my senses calmed, I will never forget what I saw next. A hand came into view, slowly cupping over my brow. It was not human. It was long, the digits on the hand were unusually long as well. The hand was slender, graceful, and downright creepy. It had a luminescence to it, like I have never seen. As soon as it made contact with my forehead, I was out cold. The next morning I awoke in my bed, I shit you not, completely healthy. No fever. No trace of my previously drippy nose and nasty cough. I felt a strange sensation of well-being even. I went immediately to my mother's room and asked her if she had been in my room, and confused, she informed me she had not and commented on my strange behavior. I told her what I could recount from the previous night's experience and it was brought up from time to time years and years after as a very strange occurrence. My mother even went as far as to call it an angel. Now, on to the present. I feel it is relevant to to mention that I have seen multiple UFOs throughout my life. It may also be worth it to say I live in a very rural state. I have seen UFOs alone, in groups and with people who can verify their trajectory, so I know I am not insane. Day and nighttime sightings. Aliens and UFOs do not cross my mind often, as my life now is busy. About one month ago, I had another experience that shook me up badly and made me recall the encounter I had as a child. I awoke around 12 or 3 a.m. to a distinct feeling of a presence in the room. I thought immediately we have had a break in and the intruder was in the room. I was on my back, and filled with so much terror I could not move. I have a nightlight adjacent to my bed, that I share with my fiancé. He was sleeping on the side closest to where I assume this thing was. I was petrified, and too scared to look at his side of the bed, and instead saw the shadow of this thing cast on the wall right beside me. It had to have been no taller than four feet. From what I could tell from this shadow, is that it was slender, with a large oval-shaped head. Again, I could not bring myself to look at it. It has bothered me that these in these two experiences, I could not bring myself to look. Something inside of me said, it's all over, if you see it, instead of feeling calm, this time I felt like my life was in danger. I did not get the good feelings I had with my previous encounter. I was out of my mind with fear, and found I was unable to scream, or move anything except my fingers. It raised its hand up, and I instantly recognized it, even by the shadow. It was the same sort of hand I saw in my room over ten years ago. At this point I could feel my fingers pinching my fiancé's thigh, but he was not waking up. This fueled my panic. I was so scared, I actually fainted. I can't recall any dreams or details from there. The next night, I did lay in bed, with the night light on, lights off, and asked my fiancé to stand on his knees by the bed. His shadow mimicked an accurate projection placement of whatever was blocking the light the night previously. I have been deeply troubled by this since, and have no other occasions of sleep paralysis in my 